Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if you're new here. In this week's video I'm going to be carrying on with this Honda Izzy lawnmower restoration. In the previous video I did a time lapse of me stripping this apart and restoring the deck. If you'd like to see that time lapse video I'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, but in this video I'm going to be concentrating on how to repair these broken cables. For doing this job I've got a new tool to show you guys as well. This is off of Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate. So I'll put a link to this product in the description below and if you buy it through the link then you'll be supporting the channel um, and you get a nice new tool out of it. So win-win. So let's have a look at this wire crimping tool. Made in China of course, what's not these days. Wire crimping tool for fishing. So I guess this is for like wire traces. Here we've got a load of these little crimps and this is the tool itself. this tool will be very handy it crimps wires between 0.1 mil and 2.2 millimeters using these crimps I know people have used it for hanging picture frames and making fishing line wire traces things like that so they're quite a versatile tool we've also got some of this galvanized steel gardening wire it's quite heavy duty stuff so we're going to be using a little bit of this to make the shape of uh, the dog leg clip this is the dog leg clip that I'm talking about and that just clips on to the handles up here. As you can see, it's only holding on by a few threads there um, and this cable has been stretched. It's all frayed, it needs to be renewed. So we're gonna be remaking this end piece here out of some of that steel wire. So the first thing I wanna do is remove all this frayed wire. So I'm gonna take it right back to where we've got some decent wire so I'm just going to cut off this plastic sheathing all the way back to about here. And as you can see, it's got these little steel reinforcements here. Just trim those back. To there. Put that over the end. So we've got a nice little bit here to work with um, and we've shortened this section and it sits in there, it's all clipped in. And we've just got enough here so we can crimp on a new piece of wire between here and here. I'm just gonna cut myself off some of this wire. So I'm gonna take this wire and bend it in half and then we're going to clamp the end of it into the vise. Like that. So if we take a look at what we're trying to copy here, we want to bend this just about there. So I'm going to put that in the vise. <clears throat> and using a hammer, just bend it round. And now we've got that piece, we want to do the same, um, so let's put it in like that, and bend it round to make a nice right angle. We can straighten this out now. Just straighten that out. Now to add strength to this, I want to twist around these pieces at the bottom here. So I'm going to clamp this in the vise and twist. So I've just used the vise to straighten this out. And 
Now we can put our new wire through here and then we just need to connect it up. We want to trim down one of these, um, doesn't really matter which one. So trim one of them off and then we need to get our crimping tool and crimp these together. So I'm going to get this metal crimp, put that through here, just bend that out of the way a little bit. And then I'm going to get this braided cable, put this through the other side, making sure all the strands go through. That's great. Just give this side a little bit more of a squeeze. Not too much. It's on there nicely. There we go, that's the finished product. How to repair lawnmower cable on a budget. It engages and disengages the clutch. I had to bend over this solid cable here just to stop it slipping out of the crimp. Um, but the stranded cable is crimped nicely. I've just got a bit more work to do on this. Just need to sand off these little rusty bits on the handles and give them a coat of um, black camerite. That's the handles painted up. Let's just check and make sure that our cable's working. So if we pull this and then pull the lawnmower backwards, we can see that the drive wheels lock up. If we let go, they rotate freely, so that's working. A brand new clutch cable for the Honda Izzy is around £30. And we've repaired this one for less than a pound, I'd say, using these crimps and some of this steel wire. If we ignore the fact that I bought the new tool for doing it, you could probably get away with using some pliers for crimping these down and uh, that'll save yourself even more money. But I think it's nice to have the tool because we'll be able to use that in the future for other lawnmower repairs and um, other jobs that we need to do. Thank you for watching as always. I hope you found this video useful and you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you click that little alarm bell, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. I've got loads of new videos to come, so stay tuned. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Take care.